I wish you could see my fat suit. They should have, that little costume display next door, they should have put my fat suit up there. This new Elizabethan age comes at a time when mankind stands on the edge of catastrophe. Uh, so John, um, you're an American playing Winston Churchill. How mm -hmm. did that happen? Don't ask me. I, I wouldn't have cast myself. Uh, I'm just glad they did. Stephen Daldry, it was his bright idea to have me play Churchill. I asked him that question. When we got together, I said, why, why, why me, Stephen? And he said, well, his first answer was, well, he did have an American mother. He was half American. Uh, besides which, I, I'm a curious American actor. I studied in England in drama school. I've worked with the Royal Shakespeare Company and the National Theater. I've played probably about half the roles I've played have been characters from the British Isles. So I can do it. <laughs> uh, I think English people can hear American inflections. But listen, Winston Churchill was so unique. He's just as different from all the rest of the population of Britain as I am. Uh, I think it was a kind of interesting choice, to be honest, getting someone uh, from a completely different context to come in and play Churchill, because he really was unique. He was, he was very different from everybody. There's no one like him. Or is it maybe payback for the British actors playing American roles? Well, <laughs> there was a little of that. I acted with the great Stephen Delane in this series. Well, he came over and played Thomas Jefferson a few years ago, and I was not too happy about that until I saw his performance. Um, so how does a production like The Crown um, is different from a production, from a US production like Dexter, for example, where we loved you very much? <laughs> well, I can't think of anything more different than The Crown and Dexter. Um, but, you know, I approach every role the same way, just try to make it completely authentic. Uh, try to make it believable. I mean, Dexter was a real challenge. Um, Churchill, I, it was so much fun because he really was... The interesting thing about playing the Trinity Killer is he was perfectly like me. I, I didn't... <laughs> He was this kind of nice guy who happened to have this uh, horrifying secret. Churchill is nothing like me. For one thing, his body is very different. I wish you could see my fat suit. They should have, that little costume display next door, they should have put my fat suit up there. It puts about 80 pounds on me. And we also, I had very tight shirts so that my, my entire face looked like a turnip. And I even put, well, I shouldn't tell you my trade secrets, but I put these little plumpers in that clicked onto my back teeth that uh, literally changed the shape of my face and stuffed cotton up my nose. To Churchill was very stuffed up. Yeah, well, he had these strange, Sounds came out of his nose and his mouth. Well, I did, I did everything I could to sort of capture all those things, but make them real, not make them look like actors' tricks. Of course they're actors' tricks, but I, I wanted people to simply accept him as Churchill, accept me as Churchill. So what is so fascinating about The Crown? Do you think actually the royal family will watch it? And what will they think about it, maybe? I don't know whether they'll watch it or not, but I think they'll like it. I, I mean, if I were Queen Elizabeth, I would, and I had to pick someone to play me as a young woman, I would thank my lucky stars that there was Claire Foy out there. I mean, she's just, she's just wonderful in this role. And the same can be said for all these characters. The Duke of Windsor would probably pick Alex Jennings. King George the Sixth would pick George, uh, jo uh, George the Sixth, uh, Jared Harris. I'm not sure Churchill would have picked me. <laughs>
I can think of about three or four great British actors who would have been better as Churchill, but something tells me that all of them said no <laughs> before they came to me. So The Crown is the most expensive um, production of Netflix right now, more expensive than House of Cards. Does that put a lot of pressure on the production and on you, maybe, playing? No, not at all. I, I, I would never have known it was that expensive, the way they treated us. <laughs> you know, we were in cold trailers in muddy parking lots most of the time. Didn't matter. Uh, of course it's expensive. You have to create Buckingham Palace. And, it looks great. Uh, and you have to create royalty, and it's got to look like royalty. But they were extraordinary, re extraordinarily resourceful. Martin Childs, the production designer, Michelle Clapton, the costume designer, they just did a brilliant job. Uh, and I, I'm not sure how much they spent, but I'm sure they came in under budget. They knew what they were doing. Well, I'm so excited to watch it. Thank you Thank so much. You. Thank you. The Crown must win. Must always win. <laughs>